Hey, this is Crypto Cruise once again bringing you another crypto market update uh, on the go. So, <clears throat> man, today's been amazing. It's been really good in the Bitcoin and uh, in the crypto market all around, even in, especially in the gaming, the gaming crypto tokens. Gala just made another 30 plus percent gain on top of the gains that they've already been doing the previous week so gala since january though since new year's eve uh gala is up officially up over 220 percent all right and again gala was one of my uh five picks in december of gaming crypto that's potentially gonna outperform and and surpass and potentially give you a 3,000 to 4,000 percent gain in the next bull market so it's already starting right it seems like it's already starting but we're going to be talking about bitcoin right now and see where we're at all right we're in the daily chart everything is looking great all right so looking right here we are actually above 20k all right yesterday's video and the previous day i told y'all we need to uh see if we can break above this blue line that I have over here and stay above it. And sure enough, that's exactly what we did on the daily chart. We actually closed way above that blue line, right at almost 19,800, 19,900. Here's the cool part about this, right? Our previous, our previous bull market, the 2017, the 2017 bull market where did we top out at look where we topped out at we topped out at that blue line close to that blue line as well at around on this chart it was at around 19,700 19,800 that's where we topped out at on the 2017 bull market right that is a major resistance okay so where are we now right we are right here go back on the daily we are right here and the blue line is right there and we broke that because that was a resistant what was once resistant becomes support now we broke that previous 2017 bull market top we broke it we're above it again right and the last time that happened we shot up all the way to 60 something k i'm not say, i'm not saying we're gonna shoot up to 60 something k um just go shoot straight up you know it may still take a year right it may still take until uh early 2014 before i mean 2024 before we see all of that and again the bitcoin having is going to be on the 2024 as well right so we're looking at that but we are getting a rally usually that's what happened based on the previous data about a year before the bitcoin having we usually make a uh, a gradual increase right we bottom out and make a gradual increase heading to that having right and then after the having that's when we go parabolic and that's what happened in the 2019 uh when when 2019 almost going into 2020 when the having happened the 2019 we were gradually going up from 3k right we actually closed 2019 at around 15 almost 20k okay that's that's what happened so now going back to this chart we are right here we are above the previous 2017 bull market top we are above it um and if we zoom in more i am not betting on this to keep going up we are well overextended way overbought right and this has to reverse some time again you got to remember nothing ever goes straight up okay and nothing ever goes straight down okay maybe except for luna <laughs> but no luna didn't go straight down it, it was you know recovering and going up along the way but okay back to bitcoin i don't see this going up any further we have to have a correction okay so be very careful right now if you're trying to buy into bitcoin of course it's you know it's always a good time to buy bitcoin below 25k that's 
to me that's cheap because the you have to look at it in the future you have to look at it in the long run in the long run we're looking at over a hundred k per bitcoin um again kathy woods um very famous investor she's calling for a million per coin by 2030 okay so just think about that wrap that around your head right so right now we're below 25k so even if you buy now right and then we correct you just have to wait but you have to keep that in mind if you're buying now you have to keep that in mind that you will potentially potentially see some losses in the short term if we correct but in the long term you are buying at a low price just want to make it clear i am not a financial advisor this is not financial advice do your own research everything i say here is just for educational purposes and my opinion and what i'm doing personally okay so again in the short term i i am looking at this to correct anytime soon it may start correcting tomorrow who knows because usually in the weekends that's when uh most of the time right not all the time but most of the time in the weekend we usually go sideways or correct okay so tomorrow is going to be saturday or actually the utc time saturday already started uh as far as correction we may go down all the way down to the previous 2017 top which is around 19,800 19,900 19,700 around that range so that's what i'm looking at it correcting if we hold that if we don't go below that 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 range is right around here as you can see if we zoom in a little bit more you will see it's respecting that level actually i'm gonna zoom in it's gonna be right here as you can see that price action right here that is the 2017 bull market top and we have you know we kind of uh we kind of chilled there for a little bit during this run so it is kind of supporting that that trend uh that resistant support line right there so i am expecting if we do correct to go back down to there around eight nineteen thousand eight hundred around there nineteen thousand nine hundred now if we go move sideways from there there's a good chance that we'll continue back up and again the target is what twenty five thousand dollars right but if we go below it, we may play around that range to the 18.9 and good chance we may even go below 18.9. But hopefully we hold the 18.9, move around before we move back up. But I'm looking at a correction in the near future and maybe a slight sideways movement. That is um, our uh, update for today. And by the way, guys right now the why why are we spiking up so much there are so much liquidation happening um there in on tuesday about two to three hundred million shorts were liquidated and then on wednesday another 200 million shorts leverage people leveraging and and shorting the market got liquidated and today another 200 a little over 200 million sh uh leverage short got liquidated again so all these uh people all these people shorting the market using leverage they're all getting liquidated right now and that's one of the main reason if not the main reason why we are spiking up so much but again that is uh the update for today um i hope you like this video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll get up to date on the latest videos i post uh, I may post another video later tonight on other altcoins that I'm seeing. That's pretty cool. All right. But until then, bye-bye.